Hi, this is Megan with Beataholic, and today I'm going to show you how to do a loose 10 strand uh, basket weave style braid. And I'm going to be doing the braid out of these beaded strands of beading wire. And this braid is not really easy to get really tight, but I want it to be a looser look in this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it loose. So what I've done here is I have this multi-strand connector. It's a five strand connector. And I've taken lengths of Softflex beading wire and I have used these wire and thread protectors and basic crimp tube to connect two strands of beading wire to each loop of the strand, uh, multi-strand clasp. And then I strung them with metal seed beads. And then I'm just going to use the small size of a thread stopper, a bead stopper, at the end of each strand. And lay them out so that they're nice and flat and you can work with them in an organized kind of a way. All right, this braid is really super simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna start, don't start with the all the way to the left one. You're gonna start with the second one here from the left. And you're going to, in twos, you're gonna work in twos. So you take your second strand and move it over the next and then you go to the next pair here and you're gonna take the left and move it over the right. Go to the next pair and move the left over the right. And go to the next pair and move the left over the right. And then you do have one left at the end. And as you work, you'll need to, of course, have, have it secured to your workspace. I just have a lot of tape on there so that you can keep it tidy and move the spots where it's crossed over up to the top. The next thing you're going to do is work back from right to left and this time you are going to start with the end strand and you're going to again go in groups of two and you're going to go right over the left, go to the next group of two, right over the left, next group of two, right over the left, Next group, right over left, and the last group, right over left. And go ahead and hold your work flat and move those areas where they cross up. And you're just gonna repeat that, uh, those two processes, moving left to right, moving right to left. So again, when you're moving left to right, you always wanna start with the second and you're gonna leave the, the end two out. So start with this two, left over right, the next two, left over right, the next two, left over right, the next two, left over right, and then hold it down while you move your work up. And then again, when you go right to left, you start with the end, right over left, next group, right over left, next, right over left, next two, right over left, and the last group right over left. And as you hold this down and push your work up, you can start to see the braid forming. And it's just a simple basket weave kind of a pattern. And you're gonna go, just continue that process until you have as much braided as you want. And the thing with this, since it's loose, it's kind of up to you how much of it you want braided. So if you want it to be really intricately woven, you wanna push it up tighter and have more braiding in there. And if you want it to be just a, a soft kind of a tangle, then you can do it nice and loose and just have a little bit of braiding in there. And the way that I had my bead strands 
space. I have two silver in the middle and then two matte gilt plated on the next ones and then these two dark copper on the ends. And you can see that it is going to make a pattern as you do this braid. So you can um, also decide how much you want braided by where you're at in that pattern. What it's gonna do is it's actually gonna bring the middle strand out and back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and braid until it goes out and back in and out and back in twice. But that's gonna be up to you. So once you have as much braiding done as you want, which I'm gonna stop here because my silver plated beads in the center have gone out to the end and crossed and out to the end and they're back together here and I think that that will be a nice amount of braiding that will you can even it out once you then what you're going to do is you're going to take the other side of your multi-strand clasp and don't forget that the little nail head looking end needs to be opposite from the one on the other side and you're just going to use the um, the crimp tubes and the wire and thread protectors to attach these ends in pairs, just like you did at this side, to each loop on this clasp. And we do have a video on how to use wire and thread protectors and how to use crimp beads and crimp tubes. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can watch that video. And then once you have it attached to this side of the clasp, you're just gonna trim the ends and you can just kind of move the braid around, move the beads back and forth to get it nice and even. And that's all there is to it.